Hey everyone, it's Darlene. Welcome to this week's card. Um, I used a couple of new Stampin' Up! products um, and started with all white paper. And I'm taking my Broken China Distress Ink and I'm going to apply it to a piece of Nina cardstock. Um, I did a tutorial a couple of weeks ago on this if you want to look on my blog for that about how to apply ink to paper. Um, and actually one thing I didn't mention in my tutorial is that if you're having trouble I would do multiple layers. So do a light layer of blue then do another light layer of blue. Alright I've got this new um, swirl set I can't remember the name I'll put it on my blog from Hero Arts. Um, such a pretty stamp. And I'm inking that up with Broken China the same ink I just used. And I like to stamp my background stamps upside down just because it's easier. Uh, it came out really pretty. Alright, I slowed this down. These are some new framelits from Stampin' Up! They're so cool. I love them. There's a bunch of stamp sets that go with it. I don't even have any of the stamp sets that go with it. Um, so I'm just using them as die cuts and uh, they're really pretty. And they also come with a template of paper piercing holes and I'll show you that in a second. Anyway, so I'm going to cut out a piece of white cardstock with this larger, larger die and I'm going to take some black soot ink and I'm going to apply my ink the same way. Um, I sped this up quite a bit and with black it's it's kind of hard to get good coverage. You have to really do multiple layers. So as you can see I'm just keep I just keep going around in a circle uh, until it gets dark and dark and dark until I like it the way it is. There we go. And this craft mat that I use um, just wipes right off. This is the envelope pattern stamp by Hero Arts and I just want a little bit of texture on that piece so that's why I just did this very subtle background because I didn't want it to compete with that swirl stamp that I used on the blue. Okay this is another framelit that came with the set and I'm just gonna put it in the middle there and cut it out. So here's the paper piercing set. This is a pad that you can buy and I slowed this down a little bit. Uh, this is a little template pack and it comes with a couple of different, I think three different templates in it. Um, and it's got one for all the framelits in that set I just showed you along with some other stamps like the heart and all that. So anyway I'm going to turn it upside down and I'm going to poke it from the back. And so this is a paper piercer. I'm going to poke the outside of the middle one and the inside of the outer one. And the reason why I'm doing it from the other side is because I want the raised area to be on the front. And then I'm going to sand it down. And you can do this pretty much with any color on white cardstock. And you definitely want to use the white cardstock because that's what's going to make these dots show up as white. That was just a sanding block. Uh, this is another set by Hero Arts. It's just got a ton of different sentiments in it. And that's an embossing buddy which applies some like little powdery substance so that it doesn't have so much static on it um, and so this embossing powder doesn't you know cling where it doesn't where you don't want it to cling and it was out of stock at Stampin' Up! for a really long time and now it's back in stock so you can order it. I basically use it pretty much anytime I do white embossing on black paper. Alright so here is the gorgeous new um, Papillon um, butterfly set by Stampin' Up! Um, I just love these new butterflies and I'm going to color them with Copics. Three different shades of this blue green. The first is a light all over color and then I'm going to take the darkest color, put it in the middle where the shading would be on the butterfly, take that medium color, blend it out, take the lighter color, blend it out. And I'm going to do the same thing on both sides. And I do one side at a time to make sure it doesn't dry and it'll blend easily. And then what I ended up doing was taking um, a zero colorless blender right here and I'm removing just a little bit of color on the outside just to make it pop a little bit more. And with the colorless blender you kind of have to wait a little bit before you can see the full effect of the color removal. So you have to be a little careful. So this punch that comes with this set is so awesome because it, it punches right against the outline of the stamp. You know sometimes like the last butterfly punch that Stampin' Up! had would leave kind of a white border around it but this goes right up against the edge of the stamp so it's perfect. I just cut around this hole because I wanted to make sure that none of the blue showed through the black. I used my ATG gun and then I realized that I didn't want it to do that. I decided I wanted to use some foam adhesive. So if you apply that you can get it off as long as you haven't stuck it on anything you can just peel it right off. 
And these are just dimensionals by Stampin' Up! Foam Adhesive. So I put it on there and then I realized it was a little crooked so I pulled it off. As long as you pull it off right away it comes off pretty easily. If you really mash it down there and leave it, it, it you're going to have a tough time. Now I'm going to use my ATG gun and I'm going to put it right onto a folded piece of cardstock. Alright, I'm going to stamp the antenna for this butterfly. I'm just marking where I want it to be and then I'm going to use my stamp and majig to align it up and that's my vellum sheet that I keep with my stamp set so I don't have to use that clear sheet every time. I have to re-stamp the image. And then I'm going to take a glue dot and I'm going to use that so that I put the glue dot right in the middle of the butterfly and the wings can fly up a little. Finally, I'm going to add some da dazzling details. It's like a clear stickles with sparkles in it by Stampin' Up. And I'm going to just use a very light layer and I'm going to really put it more toward the center of the butterfly and kind of fade it out as it gets toward the outside. And then these are yellow stickles and I'm just um, outlining the edges. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed it and um, I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.